What's up, YouTube? This is Chris with VBTechSupport.org here. Um, sorry I haven't made a tutorial in a while. I've been creating a new application in C, C Sharp, which is a new modding program, which is going to be really cool. It's going to be uh, programs created strictly to the coding team there at Cloud9. Oops, I just released the name. Well, yeah, it's called Cloud9, and uh, it's going to be really big. I, what we're hoping is going to be pretty big. It's going to be kind of like another Modio. We're going to try to get a like a device explorer, different things like that, into it. So uh, that's going to be a while in production. So that's why I haven't made a tutorial in a while. But I'm going to go ahead and take a break from it and make a tutorial for you guys. So today, basically, what we're going to be going over is how to declare variables in VB.net. Now, declaring variables can be very useful in later projects once we get into the more advanced stuff. But we're just going to show you how to use it in a more uh, simple way is basically what I'm trying to get at. Uh, we're using, we'll be using a message box today. This might be the last time we cover message boxes until I get into the whole tutorial just for message boxes. So um, basically, before we get started with this tutorial, I want to let you guys know, thank you for visiting my website. I put a counter in here and it's went up 22, uh, like from 0 to 22 in just a day. So I'm really happy about that. Also, uh, kind of navigate the side if you highlight languages this is where you're going to get all your vb.net tutorials I will have C sharp tutorials as soon as I get done with the vb.net series that'll probably be a while because there's a lot of vb.net to cover and I also added a chat box so you guys can check that out to chat with other people that are on the website at the same time you are also if you want private vb.net lessons um, what I ask you to do is I've got 63 subscribers so if somebody wants private lessons just upload a subscription video to my channel then go ahead and upload it to your channel and tell all your friends to subscribe. Also tell them to put in the comments that they subscribe to my channel. I will see if they subscribed. If you get me 10 subscribers, you can delete the video and you can have your free lessons whenever you want them. I'll take a break out of my busy schedule to help you out. This can consist of anything you want. If you want to make a program and I know how to make it, we'll make it. Enough with all that, let's go ahead and get with the tutorial. So just go ahead and up, up, and open up your Visual Basic 2010 Express. Once you go ahead and open it, go ahead and go to New Project. I'm going to name this variable. Uh, most of you guys uh, will notice in all my tutorials, I will name it what the tutorial is about, just to save time and effort, because there's no really point in making these right now. These are just applications showing you how to actually do something in an application. So we'll just go ahead and drag in a button. And again, if you're just following this tutorial, just fo get the coding if you're putting this for a different program. Because, I mean, you don't need really this button. You do need the code, though. So we'll double click on our form. And this is where we're going to declare a variable. As you can see, we have our public class, which is the whole form. So you click to the right of it and click enter. Now, what this does, this give, allows you to do it, gives you a workspace to enter your area where you're going to declare your variables at. So, dim is the uh, declaration for vb.net. And we'll call this whatever you want. So we can call this VB Tech as string equals two quotations. And this is what one or text to say VB Tech support. Now we'll go back to our form and double click our button. Now go ahead and program the button, which is very easily done. Same as a message box. Message box dot show and instead of doing the two quotations and entering your text what you're going to do you're just going to enter VB tech because that is our actual text string as you can see it has our variable here so just go ahead and click this and we'll debug our program click our button and there you go VB tech support go ahead and click OK and close this out also what you can do you can declare another variable so dim VB tech to as string equals visit the website. Go down here. You can either enter enter another message box. So two message boxes shows up, or you can do like we did in the other tutorial. Click comma in that, and then put vb vb tech two. We'll go ahead. And Debug this, and you see our title is visit the website. Of course, it's not going to show all that because I didn't put enough text here. But that's how you pretty much 
use a variable as a title. So instead of going down further in the project and using the same text in a different message box, you can just declare your variable up here and just enter the variable so it's really quick to do. You can also just enter these as letters, numbers, anything. So you can put A and declare this as B. So it's very, very easy to create text bo uh, message boxes down the line because all you got to do is click A and B. So right there, you've got your full message box in just pretty much these two, these words right here and two letters. And as you can see, this does work the exact same way. Now, basically, what I'm going to show you guys is how to do numbers. So we can go here, dim C as integer. And this is this is just for like numbers equals and here there's our text so we'll put 100. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead, go over here. I'm gonna add another button for this one to kind of show you guys. And horizontally, there we go. Double click on this button and we'll go message box dot show C. Oh, box. Help if I'd spell it right. Go and debug this. So we click here and there's this message box. And we click here and there's that message box which has 100. So yeah guys, that's just a very quick way to learn how to declare variables in VB.net. This will be helpful in later tutorials that I make, also in later projects that you create. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Sorry it took me so long to make it, but I've been really busy with that application and I probably will be for a while. But uh, again, if you want private lessons, upload a sub video, let me know when you get me 10 subs. I'll check it out and we'll be good to go because I really want to get this channel jump started up and going and more people to view my videos. So you guys, hope you enjoyed this. Please rate, comment, and subscribe to this video and I'll see you guys next time.